Mr. Chairman, delegates and my fellow citizens, I proudly accept your nomination. Here's my definition of compassion and conservatism. It says we trust people to make decisions in their lives, but anytime we find somebody who cannot help themselves, our government will help. The role of a leader is to set clear priorities, not to try to be all things to all people. That I can get something positive done on behalf of the people. That's what the question in this campaign is about. It's not only what's your philosophy and what's your position on issues, but can you get things done? George Bush is the president-elect of the United States. He has won the state of Florida. What the networks giveth, the networks taketh away. The votes of Florida have been counted. They have been recounted. And now we have a winner. Now it can be said, President-elect Bush. The presidency is more than an honor. It is more than an office. It is a charge to keep. And I will give it my all. Thank you very much, and God bless America. And good morning, George W. Bush will be sworn in as the 43rd President of the United States today, Saturday, January 20th, 2001. From NBC News, this is a special edition of Today with Katie Couric and Matt Lauer, the inauguration of the President, live from Washington. And welcome to this special edition of Today. I'm Matt Lauer. And I'm Katie Couric. And yes, it's Saturday. And yes, we're still here. The reason for that, of course, is because it's Saturday, but it's also Inauguration Day. We're coming to you live from Washington, D.C., just across the way from the Capitol Building, which I think you can see right behind us. And that's where George W. Bush will be sworn in at noon Eastern time today. And you'll see it live right here on this NBC station. Obviously, it's a very historic moment, the first inaugural of a new century and a new millennium, but also an echo of the last century as well. Another President Bush. George W. Bush today becomes only the second son in history to take the office his father once held. The first was John Quincy Adams in 1825. Now the biggest story so far in this inauguration day, actually the whole weekend, is the weather. It rained all day here in Washington yesterday. As you can see right now, we're getting a bit of a break. Al Roker says there's about a three-hour window of more decent weather right now, but the bad news is, Al says at about noon Eastern time, that again is when the swearing-in ceremony will take place at the Capitol. The rain should move in. It should turn to freezing rain and sleet, possibly even some snow. Al's out at the Pentagon this morning. He'll keep us posted on the weather all morning long. Also coming up in just a few minutes, we're going to hear from the president-elect himself. Our national correspondent, Jamie Gangel, spoke to George W. Bush Friday on the eve of his inauguration. And a little bit later, we'll hear more from his wife, Laura the first lady to be. And of course, we'll have the latest on President Clinton's last minute deal with the independent prosecutor. But let's get started with NBC's David Gregory, who's outside the Capitol. David, good morning. Good morning to you, Katie. Well, all the final pieces are putting being put in place. The teleprompter being set up behind me over there on the platform. They're beginning to vacuum up some of the water, testing the loudspeakers, as you can hear. A couple of things that are so important to look for today, and that is, of course, the inaugural address, about 13 minutes long from the president. Uh, 